For more than 50 years, the Social Security Administration has helped workers and their families recover when someone becomes disabled and loses their job. But over the past few years, the system has become so bogged down by the number of disability cases that it's forced many to wait for years before their cases are settled and money is paid out. Jeff Slavin is one of those left waiting for months. It's bad. We're about ready to lose each other. Being out of work and disabled has really taken a toll on Jeff Slayton and his family. I got disabled because of diabetes and a neuropathy and went to try to get my disability and they denied me. He was denied twice, actually, and he's not alone. In some states, the Social Security Administration denies more than 80% of first-time applicants. I mean, I understand that there's people out there that are capable of working that are trying to collect Social Security. So look into it a little bit, investigate a little bit, but don't tell somebody, no, especially after they've had, like my husband's had done, toes amputated, a foot amputated, you know, half leg amputated. More than two years later, and with the help of an attorney, Jeff and his family of six only receive a little more than $600 a month. Hiring an attorney greatly enhances your chances of approval. In some states, up to 85% of people who seek legal representation receive Social Security benefits and in a time that makes more sense. An attorney can help you navigate those uh, complicated systems of uh, how to get medical records submitted, how to make sure that your doctors have given the appropriate information, uh, and have been asked the right questions so that when your case comes up in front of a judge, that the judge can make a determination uh, that uh, fully reflects the merits of the case. Things you can do to help speed up your case include determining if you're eligible. Social Security defines being disabled as not being able to work due to a medically determined mental or physical impairment lasting up to a year or more. You must also be under 65 years old and have worked and paid into the program five of the past 10 years. Also, make sure you prepare accurate medical records. They are required to convince the government to provide benefits. File immediately and pack your patients, as the average wait time for an appeal is almost a year and a half. Reporting for the EXP News Network, I'm Deanna Lambert.